females and sex. I just listened to an interesting interview that Chris Williamson did with Roy Baumeister, an evolutionary social psychologist. Here are a couple things that you might find interesting. Number one, the women who are most sexual are if a woman, when a woman is more educated, she is more sexually open-minded or more sexual. And when she is uh, less educated, less sexual. When a woman is more religious, she is less sexual. Less religious, more sexual. So if you want a less sexual woman, uh, find a woman who is religious or less educated. If you want a more sexual woman, find a woman who's educated and less religious, I guess. The number two thing is that, well, first I want to go and say that um, Chris and uh, Roy Baumeister both agreed that men have a higher sex drive, although I will say there are exceptions and there can be times in a woman's life where her sex drive is higher, particularly during um, pregnancy or when she reaches her 40s and 50s where she has a higher libido. However, in general, the men have a higher sex drive than the woman, and so the whole mating thing is about a man wanting more sex than the woman. And here's the bad news for the guys. They noticed that um, in surveys and studies that they did of couples, that um, you know the sex drive for both people is super high. By the time they get married, it's pretty equal. Uh, the man's maybe a little bit higher, but then the woman's drops off precipitously. And not just because she has children, the woman's sex drive will decline a lot. And so a big complaint that couples have is, my wife no longer wants to have sex with me. And they made it sound like it was just a natural thing that had to happen. So this is what I want to talk about today. Uh, because I'm passionate about relationships and working with couples. Typically what happens for the woman is, well, first of all, women like novelty. And because a woman's sex drive tends to be lower, she needs things to get her in the mood. She's not going to just jump on your dick because you took your underwear off. <laughs> or you know, because you came home with the pizza or cleaned the garage. It's not going to make her horny. So I think these are the reasons that based on my own experience and what I learned that a woman is not going to want to have sex that much after she's married. First of all, people start to neglect their relationship. That's the number one thing. People start to neglect their relationship. So the guy stops telling her she's beautiful and he stops taking her to dinner. Um, daily life sets in and the man will still want sex even though he's just forgotten all about the relationship but she will not. A woman's desire is really stoked by how she feels about herself and about the relationship and how attentive he is to her. So in my escort appointments, I always tell men, if your wife doesn't have sex with you, this is what you could say. Hey, I miss how it used to be. Do you miss how it used to be? Or we both deserve a healthy sex life. How do you feel about that? And they're always like, oh my God, I never thought of saying that. Something as simple as that because men just think it's automatic for us, like it is for them, and it isn't. And so Dr. Laura Berman talks about the cycle. And excuse my eye, I'm just getting over pink eye, but it's so much better. But that's what's going on here. Um, and I didn't feel good for a few days because I also have a urinary tract infection, which I don't know how I got. So I'm just um, starting to feel a little better today. So I didn't make videos for a few days. Anyway, so here I am. Um, Dr. Laura Berman talks about how couples get into this dead-end cycle because 
she wants to feel love to have sex and he wants to have sex to feel close so she stops having sex he feels distant he stops giving her attention she wants less sex and pretty soon they're at a standstill just knowing this is very important john gray talks about a man needs sex to feel loved and a woman needs to feel loved to have sex so both people have to really lean in okay because it's not going to be as automatic as it was when you first met and you were horny for each other and you wanted to hump fuck three to five times a day so that's number one people stop nurturing their relationship that's why the woman wants to stop having sex the guy doesn't give a shit he'll still be horny he'll still want to have sex and it's actually a good thing that women need to feel love first because it forces the man to pay attention to the relationship which is good for everyone so that was the first reason the second reason that women often stop wanting to have sex is because women have a lot of breaks for their arousal and the number one break is children <laughs> in the way children because a mom's attention must go to her children it can't be all about the guy anymore it's about the children and keeping the house clean and her responsibilities um, other reasons breaks um, can be she is stressed and tired a man will want to have sex when he's stressed to relax a woman needs to feel relaxed to want sex if she feels unattractive if she's gained weight if she has a physical thing going on a woman and then this is why I personally I'm 60 I don't take any medication to me my I nurture my sex drive internally by focusing on my sexual energy because that to me is a thermometer my sexual energy is a thermometer to how good I feel about myself it doesn't mean I'm going around having sex with men well my benefactors but that's a separate story I don't look for sex with men because but I want my sexual energy to be alive because that tells me that I'm healthy because for a woman to want to be sexually engaged unless she's like looking for attention or whatever um, we need to feel physically good emotionally good and mentally good if women are like a mentally or emotionally off they may look for like dangerous situations or hookup sex or whatever I'm not speaking of this I'm talking about feeling good in your body and feeling good about yourself whereas a man will still want sex even if all that isn't there so it's really important I think that um there are other therapists who speak of this Esther Perel speaks about how to maintain desire by having space in your relationship and having a bridge to cross there are more and more couples now that want to maintain healthy sexual desire and one thing you can ask a woman you're dating is how often she masturbates because that's going to give you an idea of her sex drive once she's dating you and she's excited about you she will want more sex but that's a temporary spike and you want to know what is her sex drive and if she doesn't masturbate that's not a good sign unless you can get her to do it because every woman should be comfortable enough ideally with her sexuality to want to touch herself and know what gives her pleasure so she can teach her partner I'm going to link the interview with Chris Williamson and Roy Baumeister in the description below but just know that you don't really have to watch it if you don't want it's very long um, men and women are very different when it comes to sex he also mentioned some other interesting facts which I've mentioned here before is that when there is an excess of supply like more men than women excess supply of well let's talk about sexual supply uh, men create the demand for sex and women create the supply for sex so when you have more supply like on college campuses there's a high supply of women because there are two women for every man on college campuses which by the way by 2030 women in their 20s will out earn men in their 20s for this reason 
when there are more women than men, women become more promiscuous to try to get the men. When you have a low supply, like China after the one child policy, when they kind of got rid of the, the girls, you have all these men, and then the women set the terms. They're like, we're not going to have sex till you marry us. We're going to choose the best guy, and so on. Now, I want to say one more thing um, in another video. I want to talk about that hypergamy. Okay. I think that when a woman, a woman who enjoys sex, who feels good about herself, is going to want sex with her partner. And that's another thing Esther Perelli talks about, too, is like, you got to go through life like feeling if to the extent that you can feel happy and healthy and connected, you will still want to have sex in my opinion. So not wanting to have sex is an indicator. There's something up to investigate in the relationship or in the person's own self. And those are some things that coaches and therapists can help you with. If you want to work with me, Check out my website, The Treasure Within Coaching. I work with men, women, and couples to help you with your sexuality. I also help people, especially men with porn addiction, premature ejaculation, erectile dysfunction, performance anxiety, and all those kinds of things. So I would love to hear from you. Uh, I have made a uh, form on my website because today I keep having guys who contact me for coaching but they want to tell me that I'm beautiful and that's really a boundary violation and really inappropriate the coaching business is strictly close on you can't uh, I know a lot of people fall in love with their therapists or whatever because they feel understood but it's a professional relationship meant for people who actually want to work on their stuff and the reason I don't have like a full set and the background and the perfect clothing is because when I get all ready to perform for you, I'm not authentic anymore. I don't know how to be authentic when I have all that stuff. So I make my videos like real life like this. And that's right now what works for me. I may have to change that to, in order to get more business for my coaching, but we will see. And thank you for watching my video.